may have seen video two of this multi-part series of us taking apart this Dyson DC24. Well, today it's time to get the Cyclone and Brushwell housings apart. See what their problem is. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So come on a journey. Links in the description to video one, where we take a first look at the whole machine. Video two, where we strip apart the chassis, motor, and yoke. This is video three. Enjoy. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? We shall pop that to one side because today we are going to be focusing on this, the Cyclone Assembly. As you may remember from the before video, it is very, very ruined. I'm not even going to bother washing that filter because this machine is going to need new filters anyway. Oh, blimey. So, where do we start if you want to strip down your machine or you're following along at home with yours in bits since yesterday, the wife moaning at you? Well, tell her to moan no more because you pop the top bit off of the cyclone using a little screwdriver. Then, take the bottom flap off and push the button and take the bin off of the cyclone itself. Now, on a DC24, it is relatively easy. He says, struggling. There we go, to pop the bottom flap off of the cyclone. We're not gonna be removing the red bit. You can, this is the bin release rod. You can if you wish, it is doable, but we don't need to. And we are certainly not doing it today. The rubber flap can be removed from there with ease. Oh, right, this is where it's going to start getting messy. You will see there are four tabs that hold the cone on. Put on the floor, put your fingers underneath one of them, pull and push down. And then once two goes, they all go. All of the plaster dust is going to start to come out now because we are disturbing it, so to speak. Get all of the fluff and detritus and disgustingness out of this top part here. I don't quite know what its purpose is apart from to trap dirt. On some Dysons, there is a rubber seal, but on this one, there isn't. So there we go. Next, we shall take the cyclone top seal. Remove that. And this is where it becomes a little bit tedious. You need to get yourself a screwdriver and start to work it around this lip like so. The whole lip is ow, one big clip. So as soon as you start, you might need to go and get yourself a second flat blade screwdriver just to sort of help tease everything out like so. Ah, there we go. And eventually it will click. And there we go. Now this isn't as bad as some I've seen actually. It's not. Sometimes you see these full of dirt. But there we go. That is the shroud and the sort of bottom of the cone. Next we need to split this bit in half. And we do that by undoing all of the screws in the top. So one. Give it a bit of a rub on something. 
to get the grit out of them never hurts that out this lifts up very nicely like so now this is a sod especially when it does that because this spring is handed again I don't think I'll be able to really show you it but there is a tab on the side of the spring and the idea is is that this is you put the spring on and you turn it almost so it locks it in place basically that's gonna. I might have to fast forward myself doing that on the after on the putting it back together video because it is a sod. So there we go. Again, I've seen those packed to the rafters. Seems to have gotten away with it. The cyclone seal has been folded. Actually, that's probably my fault when I did this last. But it's not too bad. These can wear right out. You can see where the dirt goes around them. Again, they're very, very, very cheap to repair. And it's certainly something to bear in mind because when they go, they fill the filter up with dust, like more than this one has. <laughs> A lot more. All right, pop those screws in there. We now need to take our Psycho handle and remove the three screws from within it. Pop those in there, out of the way, so they are nice and safe. And then the handle comes off at the top. You can go slightly further. Well, it is a little bit fiddly and remove you can remove that but I've shown it in my refurb threads so I'm not going to do it now because it doesn't really need it I suppose and that brings us on to the last thing that we need to strip down the brush roll housing bring you a bit closer to this so you can see it more so flip it around and unlock the brush roll and remove it and we'll pull off the end cap from the brush roll itself now these end caps do have a habit of really making themselves disgusting they melt they crack this one isn't too bad look it started but a couple of seconds with a nice blade We'll have all that off. Enough to be fine. So I'll pop that in there. The brush roll needs a good clean. Again, you've got to sit there and pick apart everything that's wrapped around it. Or, of course, you can just buy a new brush roll. That is quite simple. I will not stay here for 10 minutes. And pick it all off for you, dear viewers. We shall do that later on, off camera. Now, to take this apart, we need to first remove the rubber strip. Where the two screw holes are, you can get underneath. And as soon as one bit's pulled out, the rest just slides out. So there is very key for doing hard floors, this, when I use one of these as a daily driver on the laminate it was needed now we need to drop down to a I can't even see what size that is but to a smaller screwdriver in fact that one's too big still oh I didn't prepare for this very well did I there we go 
Now let me tell you what size it actually is. Because this set has them all written on. Ah, there we go. You want a T8. In fact, we'll use this one now. So that's yeah, your T8 screwdriver. Torx driver for this part. And you just remove all the screws. Once all the screws have been removed, I think I've missed one. <laughs> I thought I was doing well there as well. Fast forward all of that for you. There we go. The top cover will lift off of the motor housing, which looks rather like this. Look, there is the PCB. There is the motor. There is lots of fluff. So, to get one of these apart, you pull the clip back on the PCB and pull it out. Here's where all of the fluff is going to come out of your head. Then remove the plug, which goes to the socket actually that sits under here, and the plug for the motor. If your brush roller stops on a DC-24, which is tremendously common, like stupidly common, it is going to be a combination of either this or this. Normally that, I'll be honest, but this has been known to fail. But this one's all right. So we'll do that. In fact, actually, we can take the bumper off because two of the screws we removed were for the bumper. We can then lift out the actual brush roll housing itself which is always going to be utterly utterly disgusting always going to be disgusting now again you can remove this part here you've got to pop the two little tabs off and then sort of manipulate the plastic until it pops out but because we are sensible it can be washed it's literally just some wires soon as it dries it'll be absolutely fine so i'm not going to remove that here it's up to you if you want to or not God, all that grit these heads up these are not the the most <laughs> the most decent vacuum cleaners in the world to get the motor out there is the final screw there it is look in the head which is actually the same size as the housing screws and that is that we are that can come out that wheel there I can't say I'm too fussed about that for this refurb one problem you might have is the front wheels will get covered well not covered bound up in hair and they just pop out there you go look I put my hand there for the camera to focus you can clean that off like so stick a little drop of oil on them if they're squeaking we'll have them out and put them in there so that's our base plate done next I'll show you how to take the brush roll cog off simply remove its screw and then gingerly up it pops and then you can get all of the fluff that sits underneath it out very nice indeed that belt never ever goes in my experience i've never seen that go that's always fine again all of this does come off but there just isn't really any need the reason i say take the brush roll cock off is because look if i, if I turn the lights on on my camera 
you will see it look, all covered in fluff. So it's always good to get that off and get done a wash. And that really is that. Oh my God. Everything is apart and in this box. If you have a dishwasher, it can all go in it, although the chassis of the wand might be a bit of a pain. Not on a hot wash. Me, I run it through, for, actually, before they fall off, I'm going to take the seal off of the base plate. I'm going to wash all this up by hand with a brush and some G101. Because that is what I do. And then, what are we on now? Part three. On part four, we shall start to reassemble this back into a working machine ready to be used again so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed not enjoyed well some of you would have enjoyed it some of you are watching this because you have to thank you for watching and i shall see you soon for the next part bye bye <laughs>